Hi everybody. I'm going to talk about today about the humour of angels, but I don't even know if that's the right word to use. Because angels, what would I say, they're, they're not like you and me. We have, what would you say, so many emotions, you know, spiritually ourselves and humanly ourselves. But angels are completely different. And I'm using the word humour because I think maybe that's the best word to use. Like many a time, I would watch an angel, you know, rushing up to someone. And this could be an unemployed angel, or it could be a teacher angel, or it could be even romantic angels rushing up towards somebody. And how would I say it? It always makes me smile because then the way they stop, you know, and this is why I say humor, because it's like as if the angel puts the brakes on in, in that sense, and they're in the presence of a human being. And you just see, how would I say, maybe I, I could say to you, their light glow more, and then it, it calmed down. So maybe we could call this the humour of the guardian angel, and of all of the angels as well, in that, in that way. Um, and just at times to see an angel mimic a human being, especially a human being that is feeling sad or down, or sometimes, which I love, is angels helping to cheer up human beings, a man or a woman or a child, more than than what they're what they're showing. You know, say say there is um, you know somebody busking on the street and they're singing, and I always would see angels around them and mimicking them too, but. Then I would hear the music of the angels and hear their voices singing too. So maybe we could call that, you know, humour again of the angels enjoying joining us in the human things that we do. And, and I suppose they, when I think about it, because I was asked this question and it's only when I'm asked a question do I think about it and I'm kind of, oh yes, I can see what that angel is doing now. Yes, that happens all the time. But angels love to be around us and even the souls of our loved ones as well because sometimes your guardian angel or, you know, will call in the soul of a loved one as well to help to lift, to lift us up, you know, because sometimes we just listen to, to someone that we were so close to that is no longer here with us. But again, just to see the angels so many times whispering in someone's ear. You know, I could be going down the street and I'm, you know, looking straight ahead and to left and right and just watching everybody and seeing the guardian angel or other angels, you know, whispering in someone's ear giving them encouragement to go to wherever they're to go. Or sometimes I always have to smile at this. Um, how can I explain this? This is hard. And, and again, this is the humor in, in, in a sense of a guardian angel or a guardian angel calling in another angel to help to lift the spirits of a, another human being. You know, and I, I suppose, you know, how would I say, I've seen angels and unemployed angels, you know, circling, you know. I just remember a few weeks back and I was walking through, you know, like a little park and watching these unemployed angels 
circling this young man. He was about maybe 26, 27 years of age, roughly late, late 20s. And, you know, all of the time it was like as if they were, how would I say, moving the wind around him. You know, it's, you know and, and they were moving their hands like this as well. And they were circling him, going around him. And there was about five of them. And every now and then, they would stop. And the angel, that unemployed angel that would be in front of the young man, would smile. And just give this huge smile. And it's like, how would I describe? Again, we could say the humor of the unemployed angels, you know, just coming forth that light and touching the young man. And on different occasions, I could see a little smile coming on the young man's face. And I remember that day just saying to the young man's guardian angel, those unemployed angels are working really, really hard. And his guardian angel said, yes, Lorna. And his guardian angel was dressed in all this, um, how would I call the color? It was like a purpley mauve color and it was just so full of light. And the guardian angel gave a male appearance. But just seeing the humor in that sense of all of the angels. And then at times, you know, seeing the guardian angel or other angels hold lights in front of people to help them to see the light of hope, to move forward in life. Or again, you know, watching children playing. Um, and again, I would see that maybe with my own grandchildren. Or sometimes, again, I might be in the city or walking through a village and seeing children out playing and just seeing so many angels joining those children in play. And, and I would say the angels mimicking the children. So I think maybe every time you want to go out into your garden or you want to, you know, go for a walk. Try and be conscious, spiritually and humanly, that there may be an angel walking beside you, imitating you, helping to give you encouragement to enjoy your walk because your guardian angel has called that angel in to give you a helping hand. And I love that because, again, you know, you just see it so, so many times. And I just take it for granted. I, I don't think twice about it. Or, you know, I remember seeing an elderly woman last summer and she's sitting on a bench and she's eating an ice cream. And it was beautiful just to watch her enjoying the ice cream. And she'd taken the pleasure out of every taste of the ice cream as she put it up to her mouth. But then, you know, the angel that was sitting beside her, separate from her guardian angel, had this enormous, what would I say, I can't pronounce the word very well, but co corn, you know, an ice cream on a, on a stick kind of thing. And, and the angel, how would I say, you know, mimicking her, you know, um, and I had to smile because it actually made me laugh because the angel gave the appearance that the ice cream was even melting and it wasn't eating it quick enough. And then I would look at the elderly woman and her ice cream wasn't melting. But I know the angel that was sitting beside her was helping her to enjoy the ice cream. So to me, that is, 
you know, just so incredible. And, you know, just to see angels mimicking us, you know, helping us to laugh, helping us to skip and jump, helping us to, to work, helping us to allow ourselves to get pleasure out of life. They mimic us so, so much in that way. And I, I know sometimes the word was used as well, you know, personality, but I can't say it's the personality. Um, it's just the angel. Maybe I'll have to ask more questions on this. You know, I'll have to ask Archangel Michael and the next time I'm talking with God, which I talk every day, um, I'll ask a little bit more as well because it would be something lovely to write about as well, to give you all more feedback on how angels interact with us or, or how angels, how would I say, mimic us in such a way that it makes you smile or laugh. It actually gives you a lift, even if that lift is so, so tiny you know, but for, for sometimes for some of us, it, it's so big as well. We, we get up or, or all of a sudden we, we feel good and we believe we can do whatever it is that we need to do. It's like a mother saying to me, Lorna, I have been asking my guardian angel and praying to God to have other angels around me to help me to be a better mom to lift me up when I'm feeling overwhelmed by everything I have to do and overwhelmed and worried about my children. And I smile at that because the angels are there with her. They are mimicking her and they are, in a sense, you know, lifting her up lifting every mother, every father, even every child in, in a school, and even where there's so much pain and hurt, the angels are mimicking even that sadness and, and that pain and hurt. But then they're helping the human being, whether it's a man, woman or child, to release it to release some of it, for, for some of that to come away from us and for us to, to see hope, for us to see, you know, I can get up again. I can do what I need to do today. And I just love that about the angels. And, and I can't say it's a personality because even looking out the window here, those angels mimicking me at the moment. They have a camera in front of them and they're, what would I say, talking away. But I love one of the angels that's giving a female appearance and how would I say, um, it makes me smile, but it's like the angel is pulling the hair out, out of her head in, in, that, in that way. And that you see, makes me smile. That makes me laugh inside. And sometimes a human being, they may not see it, but they get the feeling of joy. And every time you get the feeling of joy, allow it to grow a little bit bigger because there's angels there helping you. God has put so many unemployed angels in the world, you know, and you have a guardian angel. And then there's the archangels. Um, what could I say about them? I have to smile because, you know, I have often talked about Archangel Michael, you know, and his personality. You know, I have often talked about Archangel Gabriel and his personality in that sense, but yet I wouldn't call it a personality at all. Um, it's just so much 
kindness and love and compassion and how would I say the angels make me laugh they make me laugh every day you know sometimes I might be feeling sad or see someone else and I'm being told they're feeling sad because they're feeling sad about nature. You know, they're watching out for maybe a bird that they have seen every day and they don't see it today. And the angels would be around them trying to cheer them up, trying to help them to feel better. And I have often seen the bird angel, how would I say this, you know, appear for just a brief second and not even appear fully. Um, but suddenly birds, one or two birds might come around or sometimes even more, but not the bird the person was looking for because sometimes I would be told God has taken that bird home to heaven because that woman or man or child got so much pleasure from watching it every day and got to know it. And the love and the care that that human being was giving towards this little creature, God took it home to heaven. And I, I think that is, is beautiful. So maybe the next time you're out and about and you call on your guardian angel to help you. Just be so aware that there's other angels in and around you as well, because you've asked for that help, because God has sent it. And they're doing everything to help to cheer you up, to help you to feel better, to help you to feel more positive and they're mimicking you. You know, even if you're crying, I would see an angel have tears come down its cheeks. And I would see an angel, you know, reach over to a human being and, you know, touch the teardrop on their cheek. And when an angel does that, it's like the light from the angel's finger touches the teardrop. And it's like, you know, that light goes into the human being as well and helps to heal them, helps them to take the deep breath when it's time to get up and go and do what they have to do in that, in that way. And to me, that is so much love an angel is giving. You know, in the way at times that angels mimic human beings, the angel wasn't crying in the same way that the human being was, the man or the woman or the child, but allowed me to see you know, that tear coming down the angel's cheek. And then just watching. And so many times I see angels wipe tears away. The angel do that, you know, with their finger or sometimes even with what looks like um, a silk cloth. You know, it's kind of like see-through and, and it has fallen over the angel's hand and the angel dabbing it on, on the person's cheeks, or sometimes even touching the person's eye, but not actually physically touching it. But to see that love. So what do we call that? I just call it the love that the angels are giving each and every one of us all of the time. And I thank God for sending them. And they're just being angels. They're just being themselves. They're just doing what 
they know God wants them to do, but it's like as if, how would I say, they love it. They love helping us to smile, helping us to feel better. So the next time you're out and about, know that your guardian angel and God might have more angels around you, especially if there is something going on in your life. And don't be afraid to ask for the unemployed angels. Don't be afraid to ask for a teacher angel. Don't be afraid to ask, you know, for all the help that you need. And know that the angels are mimicking you to help to give you the strength that you need and the courage and the confidence that you need to do whatever you have to do today and every day of your life, even getting out of the bed, you know, even, you know, rushing down to the shops or in work. You're not alone, not for one second. So I'm just going to say, love you and bless you and see you again. Bye bye. Love you. God bless. If you enjoyed my videos today, like and subscribe. Don't miss my latest teachings and meditations.